So uh, we're going to hear from uh, these people now that are being baptized. And just bear in mind, too, this is a big step. This in itself of sharing some of their story with you is quite a big call. I mean, you're a bit of a scary bunch, really. Um, you might not think so. But speaking to a room of people like this is, is a big call, and um, it's something we encourage people to do who are being baptized, because in the Bible, one of the things that often went along with baptism was what is called confession, uh, which is not really confessing to a priest, but just making a declaration of your faith publicly. And so that often accompanied baptism, and so we encourage people to do that in one way or another. So each of these brave people are going to come and share a little bit with you now, and we are going to kick that off with Cameron Field. Cam. Come on up, let us off. Let's give him a hand as he comes up here. Good morning. I've tried to convince myself a few times over the past couple of years that I should get baptised, but I've never really managed to go through with it. I've been a Christian for about six years now, not long in the grand scheme of things, but long enough to know the importance of baptism. So why did I wait so long then? Mostly fear. Fear of the expectations I managed to be on, on me, but mostly fear of what other people would think. I was recently analysing this fear and came to the realisation that against God's promise, there is nothing to be afraid of. He's promised his love and protection, and that's all that really matters. That, of course, doesn't stop our fear, but that's the point. God wants us to put our faith in him, rely on him, to do what we don't feel comfortable doing. If there is no fear, then we would not need faith. But to be honest, I've also known this truth, and it never quite convinced me. So what has brought me here today is that God has told me to be here. I've from early on been convinced of the authenticity of the Bible, along with the faith that I saw in my wife, Nina, is one of the main things that led me to become a Christian. So I believe the Bible, Everything I've read tells me it's true. I can't refute it, and I've never found anything that has come, that has come close to convince me it's not the truth. But I never really acknowledge that this means that the Bible is a direct word of God. I, did, I do not understand it all, and I struggle to reconcile it, but I have to accept it with faith. So, this is a massive challenge with far-reaching implications. I'm not sure how I really respond to this revelation, but this baptism is one step in that journey. So I thank Nina and Leanna and the rest of my friends and family, and for all of you, for your support to me today and into the future. And with a bit of fear, I'm looking forward to my baptism. Thank you. <laughs> Good on you, Kim. Good stuff, mate. That's great, Cam. Thank you. Cameron's a Navy man, so um, how long can you hold your breath for, Cam? <laughs> okay, Janelle Ferreira. Where's Janelle? Come on up. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name's Chanel, and I'm 16 years old, and today I have the privilege of getting baptised. I had grown up in a Christian home, and earlier this year I felt a calling from God to fully commit my life to Him and live in His complete covering. I felt I have drawn closer to God throughout the highs and lows of my life, and due to touches from God, today I'm ready to fully commit my life to Him. After today, I know I will continue living my life in, with God's love in my heart and mind, and throughout my life I know I will carry His word with me. So. Even though this is a short speech, I'd like to end it with, a little, with one of my favorite Bible verses, which is, Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all else will be added unto you, which is Matthew 6, verse 33. Thank you. Wonderful, Janelle. Thank you. So good. Yeah, it's awesome, Janelle. Thank you. Fantastic. All right, Karen, coming up, buddy. You bringing Dad with you? Oh, going solo. Flying solo, yeah. All right, buddy. All yours. Hello, everybody. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Um, hello, my name's Kieran, and I've um, 
Hello, my name's Karen, and this is my speech why I want to get baptized. This has been a really hard year for me because of many reasons. Throughout it all, God has helped me throughout my journey. Sometimes I have felt nobody else has understood me, but God has been there. I was especially hard yesterday because my pet skink and my grandpa's, grandpa's cat both died. God has helped me and blessed me to pick the right path. He has committed to helps me want to commit to him. Thank you for listening. Oh, wonderful, Kieran. That was a fantastic job, Kieran. That was so good, buddy. Well done. So awesome. And you've got a great family around you too, bud. Well done. Okay. Uh, Nicola Kirstein. Here's Nicola. Good morning. I'm Nicola, for those of you who don't know me. Um, my faith journey has been quite a simple one. I was privileged to grow up in a Christian home and have known Jesus since I was very young and have loved him always. So today I'm just ready to take that next step and um, get baptized and accept him as my Lord and Savior. Mm, wonderful. That's great, Nicola. All right, Christina, I see you over there. Come on up. Everybody's so smiley today. This is awesome. Ooh, there are a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm Christina. Um, although sometimes I thought my name would have been better if it was Israel by how much I guess I've wrestled with God over the years. <laughs> Um, I count myself as incredibly blessed to have grown up in a Christian home. When I look back on my life, I can't recall just one moment where I gave my, um, and first believed, but I can recall just different points in time where I grew deeper in faith and in relationship with God. I've sometimes felt it hard to feel God's love. I didn't do so well at my time at Miss University, and it was, yeah, a real struggle for me. But through the love of my mom, who was amazing, um, God showed me just how much he loves me um, through her just accepting me and supporting me through that. In one of the key moments in my life, I was praying in a chapel and I didn't know what to do. I was kind of like, I'm just doing this Christian thing, going to church. Um, I have my Bible, sometimes I read it. Um, and the verse, or the chapters actually, it was 2 Timothy verse, uh, chapters 3 and 4 that came to mind. And I'd never actually read that before, and it was all about giving your life completely to God. And um, in 4 verse 7, it says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. And that's what I want to be able to say at the end of my life. Recently, I like to plan so I'm going to make this quick. Yeah. No, <laughs> I really like to plan, and I sort of had my life planned out. Um, on Friday, I found out that I didn't get an internship that I had my heart set on, and I was kind of devastated. Um, but I know that, I don't know actually what I'm going to be doing next year fully or the year after, but I know that my life is in God's hands. And I know that I want to be baptized today because I want to publicly declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I want to be fully immersed in baptism like so many professing believers before me. Um, I saw this as declaring a seal of um, yeah, God's sovereign reign over my life. So I'll just read. It's Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth the gospel of your salvation. Having believed, you were marked in him with a seal, he prom the promised Holy Spirit, who is a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession mm. to the praise of his glory. Mm. Awesome, cool. Christina. Thank you.
Great job. Christine is one of our uh, youth workers in the school here, so already doing amazing work here. God's using her in a powerful way. So you're on a great faith journey, Christina. Well done. Okay, Kyle Maxwell. Who's Kyle? Kyle's going to be baptized by Roland and Josh. Come on up. Growing up in a Christian family and in this church, I have always known that God exists and that Jesus died on the cross for me. But I didn't really know this God well and didn't particularly like coming to church and learning about him. It wasn't until I was about 12 that I started to take an interest in God and the Bible, but it was still only a very mild interest. However, this changed last year at Youth Easter Camp. Being around leaders and a group of people my age that were mainly Christians had a significant impact on me, changing the way I view God, as well as learning a lot about him and what it means to follow him. It was here that I decided to give my life to Jesus. I was prompted to take this next step in my faith of baptism, as it is a public declaration that Christ is king. Thank mm, you. Good job. Good job, Kyle. Okay, David Carrera. Where are you, David? Here he is. Fantastic. Now, you're not going to wear this to get baptized, are you? Uh, no. no. Okay. No. Take, a, take a good look because I don't often dress like this. <laughs> um, I just wanted to relay a story about when I was saved, when I was 23 in the Navy. And uh, what's remarkable to me is to recognise the fact that in, 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 the, um, in the den of iniquity, Christ and his grace is still able to save. I was surrounded by guys who ended their careers with alcoholism. Often they were married and living in adultery while we were on commissions overseas. And um, common grace, because I didn't know Christ then, common grace allowed me to at least refrain from going on the drinking binges that most of my ship's mates would go on and um, I started reading the Bible in the Navy which is really um, uh, you know really what's the word peculiar um, I soon recognized that my ship's mates were noticing that I was changing and it held my career prospects, my career promotions back so much so that um, I decided to leave. I just resigned, gave them a year's notice and left. Perhaps the um, most amazing thing about my conversion whilst reading the Bible in the Navy was the fact that um, Romans 8 really spoke to me and um, I, could, I could probably relate to lots of other pieces of scripture you know, which helped me to come to understand that Christ loved me. But it wasn't so much about me either, it wasn't so much my effort to um, perhaps ask the Lord to come into my life, it was more him working on emptying me and I just want to encourage everybody who's taking their baptism today. The road of conversion is an ongoing process of sanctification. And it's all about Christ emptying us so that we die to ourselves. Praise God. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, David. Well done. Well done. Great job. Great. Thank you, David. That's great. God's really at work in your life, mate. Fantastic. We've got, so we've got two Navy guys getting baptized this morning. Goodness me. Hope you brought the scuba gear. <laughs> All right. Last but certainly not least, Noah Buscombe, another one of our youth. Come on up, Noah. Yeah. Uh, morning. Um, hi, um, my name's Noah. I'm 14 years old, if you don't know already. 
Um, yeah. Um, from a very young age, I've always known who Jesus was and that Jesus loved me and died on the cross for me. Um, I attended church with my family every Sunday for many years. In one point in my life, during Sunday school, I think I was like year f three or four, um, they were talking about giving your heart to God and asking for forgiveness for our sins. I felt like I wanted to get closer to God and strengthen my relationship with him. Having that thought, I had the urge to give my heart to Jesus, and on that day I accepted Jesus into my heart where he washed my heart and cleansed me from all my sins. Years later, when my family moved to shore, I met the grapple and youth leaders where they all had a positive impact on my, on my life and my relationship with God, helping me learn more about him and helping me grow my faith. Um, I would just like to say thank you to Roland, Josh, and all the other leaders, you know who you are, who's um, just encouraged me, to, encouraged me in my faith to get baptized today. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Mm. Well, awesome. All right, Josh, you want to come up? Yep, JT, come on up, man. Tangaloa team, come up. Uh, we'll have one final song, I think, before we go out. Well done, Noah. That was fantastic, man. So, Cameron, before we baptize you, let me ask you two questions. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? Yes. And have you surrendered your life to him in faith? Yes, I have. All right, you want to kneel in the pool? Cameron, on the confession of your faith and at your request, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Right, let's pray. Lord God, we thank you so much for uh, just the opportunity to declare our faith before you and before our church. So, I want to thank you for Cam this morning doing that. And Lord, your, your walk, your path is not easy, but you are there. And so we just pray that, as yeah, we talked about, uh, talked about earlier, we just pray that your love and protection will be so clear uh, in his mind and on his family. Uh, so Lord, we just, um, yeah, just ask your blessing on him and his family right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Step on up. <laughs> okay. Michael, we might have given you a You'll kneel down. It's not too cold, is it? No, it's not <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Janelle, let me ask you those two questions. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of the Living God? Yes, I do. And have you committed your life to Him in faith? Yes. yes. <laughs> then on your confession of faith and in your request today, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father God, we lift up Janelle to you now. We thank you for your precious daughter here. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you would just pour out the power of heaven upon her life. That God, all the days stretched ahead of her, she would be filled with the power of your Holy Spirit. That she would know that she is loved by you and held in your arms. And you would make her a woman of God who is anchored in your word, anchored in faith, anchored in grace and as a light of blessing to all those she comes in contact with. Bless her abundantly, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. of your faith today, me and your dad have the great pleasure of baptizing you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.
Now let me pray. Lord God, I thank you for Kieran. I thank you that he's my son by blood, but my brother by spirit now. And I pray for all those who have been baptized today that this community can surround them, support them, and encourage them in their faith. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 Christina. All right. Christina, do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God? Yes. And have you committed your life to him in faith? Yes. Then on your confession of faith and your request, we baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Christina, Lord, thank you for this woman of God. We thank you for the way you're already using her in powerful ways. Uh, Lord Jesus, I just want to claim over her life that verse that's already been so important to her, uh, where Paul says, I've run the race, I've finished the faith, I've kept the faith, finished the race. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that she would just have that race set before her and constantly press on. God, forgetting what is behind, that she would just press on in this race that you've called her to run in this good fight that you've called her to, that she would be faithful, that she would continue looking to you, and she would know your favour and your strength and your power upon her life every single day. God bless her and keep her, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. David. Amen. 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 Okay, David, let me ask you these two questions. Do you believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God? I do. And have you committed your life to him in faith? I do. Then on your confession of faith, on your request, we baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for David. Thank you for his journey of faith over many years. We thank you for your faithfulness to him over many, many years. And we want to pray, Lord, today that he would know your voice speaking over his life just as you spoke over your son when he was baptized, saying, this is my son, whom I love. With him I'm well pleased. And I thank you that David hears those words, not because he's perfect, but because Jesus has been perfect and obedient for him. And we thank you that he received the righteousness of Christ and that his sin has been taken away. So we thank you that he is your beloved son and I pray he would continue to hear your words spoken over his life every day. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. 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 All right, Kyle. Kyle Maxwell, <coughs> come on down. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God, the Messiah? Yes. Do you commit to love Him and to follow Jesus in all your ways? Yes. In that case, based on that, we together, we come together and we will baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Right. 
Kyle, if anyone has a word of encouragement or a scripture they want to share with him, there's a space to do that here. Come gather around and send this prayer for Kyle. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for Kyle for his life, for the blessings that he brings to who he is, for who you have made him. We pray now, Lord, that as he stands here today and confesses you as his Lord, as his Saviour, Father, would you come now and would you fill him with your spirit? Lord, would you come? Holy Spirit, come and rest on Kyle fresh in a powerful way that we know today that you we pray the Holy Spirit will come and touch his life from head to toe in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you that there are so many challenges and things that get us son just became his brother. That's <laughs> yeah, really profound. Okay, uh, Nicola. Alright, you want to jump in the pool? Buffy, why don't you come on the side? <coughs> Nicola, let me ask you these two questions. Do you believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of the living God? And have you committed your life to him? Then, on your confession of faith and in your request today, me and Biffy are going to baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Jesus, we thank you for Nicola. Lord Jesus, we thank you for her faith. We thank you for her family. We thank you for the journey that she has walked to get to this point today. And Lord God, we want to just pray now that you would do even more in her life than she can ask or imagine. That God, you would pour out your power upon her and each day she would just know how loved she is and how precious she is to you. Father, the gifts that you've placed within her life, we want to pray that you would draw those out and release those, that she can be used by you in awesome ways in this life. Father, keep her walking with you, keep her looking to you, keep her close to you all the days of her life, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Save the best of last, Noah Buskin. Yeah. <laughs> 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 now we've made it here for you as well. I'm excited to be here. It's a privilege to be here with Josh at that size new day with our community. We can ask you those questions as well. Noah, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and Messiah? Yes. Do you believe in him and commit to follow him in all your ways? Alright, on your confession and at your request indeed, we're going to baptise you today. Take your knee. We baptise you in the name of the Father, 
the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If anyone has a word of encouragement for Noah today or wants to come and read a scripture and encourage him, we're just going to pray for him now. Um, come get around, feel free to do that. No, let's pray for you. <coughs> Heavenly Father, we thank you for Noah. Thank you for who he is, for who you have made him. Lord, praise you that you have been a work in his life. Thank you for his testimony. And Lord, thank you for the impact that this church community has had in this life. For our team, for our crew that we have been here and have been fighting for him. Lord, bless him, we pray. And today we invite you, Lord, to come and bless him in a special way. Holy Spirit, would you come and fill him afresh in the name of Jesus. We invite that spirit down now, Lord. We invite you to come and fill Noah. Would you know you as his God today? We pray that in Jesus' name. May you use Noah and his youth and may you be before him to be May you be taking steps ahead of him, preparing the way for him. He might be ready. Yeah, I hope that Noah that scripture that says, do not let anyone look down on you because you're young. But be an example to the believers in speech, life, love, faith, and purity. May that be so for me. Jesus said about himself, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. And Noah, as that has been true for our Lord Jesus, we pray that he would work for you. And that would be true for you. May you bring good news wherever you tread. Would you indeed be working for his kingdom in all things? May you know the blessing of our God wherever you tread. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, the pool's kind of warm. <laughs> and let's finish by singing, shall we? He is Lord. He is Lord. He is risen from the dead. And He is Lord. Every knee shall. Lord Jesus, and we enthrone you as King. We thank you for the witness of those who have been baptized today. Bless them and protect them from all that the evil one may throw against them, and guard them by your grace, we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you, everybody. If I want to